I kind of, kind of, I, I love those birds, but I, I, they're, they're back and forth and they take you away and they take away from your concentration and fish in a tight zone of water. Wow, this is just textbook. My Lord. They're right in front of me. All right. There's a, I didn't know the camera was on. He's on a Billy Bucktail. Right on the shore. Wow, they're nice fish too. Whoa, they're just tracing right up the shoreline here. He's a keeper. That's a keeper. Beautiful. Intense. And just casting right on the bank. That's a keeper for sure. Wow, I don't know how long you're gonna stay. He's right in there. Wow. Very cool. Billy Bucktail. I killed him with the Billy Bucktail the other night. This is just crazy. Chasing these fish. Wow. <laughs> They're probably gone when I get up. So, very cool. Go ahead. Tell your big brother. And I think they're gone. Wait, no, maybe they're out there. Maybe they're out there. Really not even fish, just going back and forth with those birds and they never really pushed in good. When they did push in good, I'm on the other side. And uh, yeah, so I, you gotta think, should you chase them? Should, should you fish where you are and wait for them? Sometimes I think that's the best option. So, it's a good day for fly loading. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna work through with the darter. Got the darter working. And I'm gonna see if I get any gray bass. And maybe those birds pushing. I know I see some good fish on them. Oh, something followed right in. All right. Now, those birds aren't there. This is just a stray fish, but it's like a, what is he? I'd love to see a blue, but I'm pretty sure he's a bass. Let's see what he is. Let's see what he's about. Let's see what's up. Wait, wait. Oh, yeah. Striper. So I'm just kind of fishing, fishing the rips until those birds, they kind of dissipated. But it was pretty wild watching them. Here he comes now. This could be... This could be the game. Let me get my pliers. It's cold out. Well, colder than it's been. It's a warm day in February, would I say. Hang on, I can take him out. Top one. There's gonna be a ton of these guys out underneath those birds. Oh. I wanted to wipe my lens down. Plenty of, plenty of air. Water is warmer than the air. Gloves in the bag. All right. Ooh, don't want to poke my waders. So I'm fishing a little bit of open water, waiting for those stripers to push in. If they push in, they all pushed in now. Working the bucktail. Let's see if we get some striped bass and stripers. It's a fine day. Wow, that's, that was an open water fish. He grabbed the bucktail. He feels okay. He feels okay. So I think these are mostly 
Oh, some striped bass. And uh, pushing the bucktail now. Wow. I like it. I haven't used this rod in a while. We've got some striper here. New York City striper. Wow. Oh. few is a Roman fish. Yeah, they're decent. They're decent fish. I've seen some big, big guys. They might have been blues earlier when I got here. This is just intense. This is intense. They're short of a piece. They're somewhere in there. He's somewhere in there. Huh? That's a nice thing about these ear cocktails. Can't be. Ooh, what's he got? Got peanut bunkers. A mouthful of peanut bunkers. Just short, I know that. Beautiful. The fish, they're, 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 they're big crazy. Uh, they're gone. Uh, I got him on, Billy Bucktail. It's a, I believe it's one and a half ounce. It's a pretty, it's a nice guy hook. Uh, you know, this smaller fish with a bigger hook, you seen that the other day. Um, you're gonna get that cheaper range, but you're gonna get those good hooks set. Just make sure that's just hook dark. It makes a smaller fish. I don't care at this point. Oh, we got a few in. Uh, so I'm keeping my eyes out. They left just as quick as they came. Uh, there's tons of birds to my right. They kind of disappeared from my view. Uh, to my left. Uh, I don't see them. They kind of just screamed right down. And you can see, you know, got him in about two feet of water in the daytime. Just amazing fish. And it looked like they were hitting peanut bunker. Oh, that's a good fish. You got to get the biggest one of the day. He's ripping drag. He's ripping drag. There's boat. He's getting them on the bucktail, Billy Bucktails. These were made by Billy Boy 18 on YouTube. Really amazing, amazing striper angler. Really true. Through, uh, through fishing. Just a, he's a good fish. Don't worry about that bag. I don't know, I think you've got a, hopefully you've got a good hook set. We'll see. Wow, hold it tight. I know that I've seen some bigger ones jumping in. He's definitely going to be a good one. I'm going to wipe my lens down. Breaking right next to me! Wow! Oh, oh my God! You're right Look! Oh! Intense! Wow! He's a good fish. He's a keeper. Check him out. Oh, he's a keeper. He's definitely a keeper. There was even bigger ones out there. I know that. Wow! That's a keeper. He's in the plus 30 range. Intense. Let me get the line so you guys can see him good. He's in the water, he'll be fine. It's cold out too. That's a nice striper. That's a nice boy. Nice one. All right. They were busting right next to us too. There he goes. Okay. They were crashing right next to me when he came in. This is just, 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 just fun, fun fishing. Oh wow, this, uh, they're in, they're out now, but now they're coming in. So we're having fun. Uh, I mean, when they're coming in, they're coming in. Uh, they're crashing left and right of us. And when they're going out, they're going out. They're, they're not about. Uh, Barnes are coming back through this way. Wow, we got them all for ourselves. Big striped bass fishing right here in New York City. 
playful. Ooh, watching the bait stream. There should be something behind them. I'm just casting all over now. Oh, wow. There's, there's the big pack out there. Ooh, that's a crazy fish. I would not be surprised if there's blues mixed in. And I've seen some big boys out there. But these, nice, these are some nice striped bass we're railing here. Definitely keeper class fish. Intense with the Billy Bucktail. Billy Bucktails. I was working with them on the beach the other night. Uh, crash and surf work great. I'm working here in the bay today. Uh, windy, windy out. Um, perfect for the striped bass. Um, it, it's kind of gusty in some zones. He's pretty close. He's pretty close. Striped bass fishing with the Billy Bucktail. Whoa, just intense, intense. Oh, I'm working up here all kinds of ways, low and slow, hoping for the big one underneath. They're on peanut bunkers, so I think a lot of those birds are hitting those peanut bunkers, kind of floating up to the top. But I'm working the bucktail, I'm working the bucktail mostly low and slow, uh, down and up current. Uh, I am taking cash straight up current and working it working it back but i'm also taking care of down current and swing it swinging it through uh the fish when i see the fish in and i'm just getting in their zone uh but just trying to keep it slightly wide. there is like a hornet's nest out there i see some fish right on coming in on shore now okay he seemed to be out and he took that little bit out it feels like a little little nicer fish, that's for sure. Just striped bass fishing with the bucktail. This is just old fashioned, oh my gosh. Blitzing, blitzing back and forth, on, off, fall. This is just uh, old fashioned typical right here. I see some nicer fish crashing to the left, to the right. Mixed sizes too, he's a little guy. No, he's not. Is he a keeper? Yeah, he's, he's close in there. Oh, he's, he's close to one in there. Oh, that's a nice fish. Maybe, maybe, maybe. He's just short. Intense. There's seagulls work in the water, and seagulls are pretty lazy, so that means there's something big going on underneath in my mind. When you see those seagulls working, not the little birds, um, the ones that eat corn chips, there's, there, there's, there's, ooh, okay, they're in there. Wow, that's a good fish. That's definitely a good fish. The sun's just setting now. Ooh, working with the Philly bucktails. The striped bass, sun setting here in New York City. It's a beautiful day, real interesting day. Those fish are just pushing in and out. I took a little bit of a walk, took a walk back, and those fish pressed in. All right, um, I just did a live battery change with a fish on. I walked up on the bank, playing him slow. You see my extra spares over there. And he, he I think, is the keeper. Get in the water. We can do that here. Wow. Just a great day. Striped bass fishing here with the bucktails. The beautiful, beautiful, beautiful keeper striper. He's definitely a keeper. He is definitely in there. All right. Woo! Birds are in and out. Uh, had that beautiful fish on. On. Caught him on. Been working the bucktail, the Billy bucktail. It's probably one and a half ounces, 8 0 hook. Uh, paddle tail. I like that. It sets up a vibration. And also, 
there's there's flash in there crystal flash that has uv now i believe that's a jetty caster style head Ooh, and it's this guy been catching so many fish that we lost an eyeball um, i'll keep it like that or glue another one in but i uh, just just intense we doing some beautiful beautiful fishing did a live battery change with the fish on cold weather the batteries tend to die out so let me get those in my pocket very cool these fish are just coming back and forth back and forth not staying still they are tight i'm going to begin my weight in over here oh boy we got the big boats out there that's static in the water I don't know if you can see. Whoa. <laughs> really want to get an angle on them. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Intense. I just saw that static. I didn't even see the fish. It's ripping some good drag too. He's, he's a keeper. Wow. Just, this is just model fall, striped bass fishing, setting sun now. Wow. This is as good as it gets. Well, oh my gosh. Look at him smash. Smashing the peanut bunker. Wow. He's coming up. That strike just wild. Just wild. Nobody out either. Wow. with the bucktails for striped bass just intense stripers at our feet wow whoa and i am i have a i was planning on throwing the bucktails beautiful fish for the striped bass and uh, the rod I'm using is definitely better for that. Wow, he's in, he definitely, he might be the bigger one of the day. He definitely over 28. Definitely. He's getting on his way. Sunset stripers. Birds are still doing what they're doing. I did not miss any hookups today. Well, I saw one fish come in on the darter, the mag darter, and then I went over to the bucktail, and I didn't miss one fish today. I, I, uh, wow, just a striped bass fish in. The birds are still in and out, um, so they might push in and grab another fish, but really intense model fall striped bass, stripers, stripers, fishing day. Really cool. Oh. Right in front, right in front. Mixed sizes. Oh, these uh, might be a little short, but they're definitely mixed size stripers. We railed that bucktail right in front of us. Wow. Now those birds went home. Go home around dusk, and those birds go home around dusk. So I'm looking unsetting. I'm looking for for some ripply, ripply water. Uh, not big ripples, but smaller ripples in the big ones. That means that there's a patch of fish around. I've been tied to spot, but I've been spotting them. So fishing into the sunset. Wow. He's just pulling, he's pulling. Got the setting sun. Oh my goodness. So now it's dark and I'm looking, I'm looking for, I'm looking on top. I'm looking to see the water and see if I see any, any kind of like tight ripples. Kind of, kind of vibrate. 
Avoid the smashing of smashing of into the sunset. That's where we're gonna take it. There seem to be some more. It seems to be almost the same size as the other the other guy. There we go. Throwing a Billy Bucktail now, and uh, Billy, I want more. I'll pay you for it. <laughs>